Hello, this is a Bersendorfer Imperial 97 key grand piano, 290 centimetres long, made in 1978 and been fully restored, I think in about 2005. Now it has f one piece ivory keys and I'm just going to look around the casework. And we have, my polisher has already had a look at it and uh, has made good any s slight defects there might have been. There's still very slight scratching, which we'll try to make good as well. Uh, you can see it's actually on what we call dollies here, and that does raise the casters up slightly. So, in fact, I, I would be inclined to take them off if you had a concert. Now, it's about 1.5 centimetres higher because of that. And the, the pedals are normally uh, seven here, so 8.5 is a bit high. Um, in fact, it, it did have its first concert the other day and the pianist decided not to take, it off, take them off, but um, personally, I find it more comfortable. Uh, looking around the case, we can see that there's pretty much perfect. There's one very slight ripple that I discovered here, um, which is the only slight defect, although you can't feel this at all. It's obviously under the surface. Apart from that, it seems to be in perfect condition. You can see it's a dark walnut, apparently, um, and uh, very tasteful. Let's go around the whole case so that you can see that. Normally, I wouldn't spend quite so much time on the case, but this is obviously quite a special uh, polish on here, and you can see uh, the two in lines here as well. Just, just giving it a, an extra interest and very tasteful, I think. So going around the whole thing, our polishers looked around this already. He may have found one or two defects, and I don't think there's anything really now that we can, we'd obviously double check and treble check the piano. And looking down the long side here, that's a bit of dust there. But you can see it's pretty much perfect, very reflective. But also you can see the very tasteful veneer on it. So that's the other leg. So let's quickly have a look at the music stand and the top of the piano. Um, the Bösendorfer logo is on the side, you might have noticed as well. It's often the case with Bösendorf and Steinways. They're two main concert pianos, obviously. And uh, th this is actually uh, put on by the Restorer. That's the trademark of the Restorer. And uh, always used to put those on. I think it's very tasteful. I love the underside of the lid on Bersendorf. They're not all like this, but um, that was a standard finish that they would do the underside in a light wood. Not quite certain what this wood is. Uh, I would say maple, but probably completely wrong. So if you're a wood expert, then uh, it would be useful to know. I don't think that's maple actually. So um, if you do know what it is. Anyway, it's very pretty. Uh, the top of the fall here, um, very integral, the color. It's a very dark, but uh, tasteful, I believe. And if you look at the top of the lid here, we can see uh, there's little bits of dust again there, but that's no defects on the piano. And uh, you can see it's in perfect condition, really. It does have a high quality matching adjustable stool as well with a, a brown top here. And the inside of the piano is perfect as well. It's had uh, new strings, new tuning pins. Um, you can see, let's look at the bass strings, which are always a good sign if they're very close to the agraph here, and certainly they are. So the restorer has done a very s special job on this piano, and uh, I'm very pleased with it. Very grateful to get Bersendorf Imperials into stock. Uh, we've had six, I think, of them all together. Uh, some 97, some 92 keys are the two lengths that they have. And uh, this one is as good as any, if not the best we've had, I think. Certainly, um, I can't see any defects, and it's a beautiful, rich tone, rich, mellow-sounding piano. And this is uh, just a quick look at the inside. Again, the, the uh, strings, bass strings, coming quite close to the bridge pins here. The soundboard's really perfect, as you would, would, would hope it would expect it to be. It's a beautiful, warm tone. Especially in the tenor as well. And then the bottom bass strings, this is the, if we go down here, you can see that they've been coloured in black. That's commonly done. Sometimes there's a flap over this, but I prefer them when they're coloured in black. And then you can orientate yourself with the bottom A and you don't get distracted by these because sometimes it's difficult when you're playing, obviously, suddenly going down, wanting to know where the A, bottom A is. Um, but they, they sound beautiful in octaves. But on their own, 
sound more like a bell. And if you want to tune them, you have to cut them in half. Um, make, you get the harmonic by putting your finger halfway along the string, like you would on the guitar string. And, um, and then you can get the note above. So for instance, if, you, if you're tuning that F, you put your finger on the harmonic and it sounds like the F above. At least that's how I do it. And if you've got another way of tuning these, please let me know. Um, but that's, uh, they don't need tuning that often anyway, these bottom ones. Uh, but it's useful. You need someone with you really to, to stop the string halfway. Now the keys on a concert grand piano are very long, which gives better control. Um, and you can see here it's been fitted with Wessel, Nickel and Gross, I think that's the right pronunciation, um, carbon fibre action. Um, that's ideal if you're in a place which gets humid and humidity varies because with wood, uh, the, these hinges particularly can swell and they, they won't swell at all here. They're, they're, particularly excellent system. If, you, if you're more experienced than I am, and not very experienced with this action, then we'd love some comments too. Uh, it's had new rollers, obviously. And uh, you can see the hammers. These are actually original hammers. Um, we can see that the whole piano hasn't been used that much since it was new. We will be uh, voicing them. I don't think they need refacing. Uh, but obviously, we'll be working on the hammers to get them as perfect as possible. They already do sound good. You can see the date on this hammer. This is a Renner hammer and dated 1977. So that's, uh, well, the year before the piano was made, so it's been on the shelf perhaps for a while. The piano's been looked after by a top concert tuner. It's already well regulated. Um, if you look at the, that's the checking there, and then the springs pulling it up, and it feels just perfect, really. We'll obviously try and refine it a bit more, but I don't think we're gonna have to do very much to refine this. We're looking at the inspection sheet here. I've mentioned most of the things here, and uh, obviously checking everything that's the idea of the inspection sheet. It just helps me not to forget anything. And also, hopefully, it's useful if you're looking at this video and get some I more idea of the piano. You can stop it here. We, we can also supply these inspection sheets if you'd like to use them, by the way, if you're in the trade. Um, they're on our website, which you'll find on the, one of the pages. I'll put a link at the bottom for you. And this is uh, the key weighting, last of all. You can see finely lubricating, the balance around these lubricating. I didn't mention that, but uh, if you lift the key up, it doesn't go down, so it's uh, absorbed a little moisture, possibly, and that, that'll bring the, the weighting down. The weighting at the moment is a little bit high, although the concert pianist who used it, the first concert we've, we've had, and it did, did like the weight. And if you were Arthur Rubinstein, you'd have liked the weight of that, apparently. And uh, if you were Horowitz, you'd, you'd probably want more like 47 grams for the center here. That's something I read recently in uh, My Life with the Great Pianist by um, the piano, uh, Franz Moore, concert piano tuner for Steinway. Um, so it's fresh in my mind. So interesting that different pianists do prefer uh, different weights. So it depends on what you, what you want yourself. If you want to work, work out and uh, feel some resistance, 60 wouldn't be too high. Uh, 47 gram, 40, some people are even lighter than that. Um, uh, it's, it's personal taste, obviously, but when we lubricate the balance rail, that will bring that down, and it's something we're particularly keen keen to do. There's a few things. There's the damper a bit too late there, which means when you're tuning it, it, it doesn't lift off as well as it could do. Um, and uh, I've just re-glued the top hammer, which is slightly loose. So I hope that's helpful, and uh, it's going to play the piano now and get some idea of the tone of it. So that's a Börsendorfer Imperial, 290 centimetres long, 97 keys. So it goes down from that C down to the C octave below. And the notes on themselves uh, really are not very distinctive. So apart from the ones near the bottom there, which you might use on their own, normally you use them in octaves. And also that it gives extra resonance. So when you lift the dampers up, these strings are also vibrating. So when you play, en play a chord here, it's a bigger sound generally because of the extra vibration of those strings. So on, the, on, its, on its own, it's like that. And with the dampers lifted up, Plenty of power and also very delicate. The 
tenor area is particularly warm. I love Bursendorfers a lot, and we have, as I say, sold, I think, about six of them um, in between 97 key and 92 keys. In fact, in this location, there was a 92 key one not long ago, brought by a different church in Oxford, actually. Um, so we try and source them whenever we can. And I'll say, when you lift the dampers off, you get just a generally big sound, ideal for concerts. Now this, this refinishing might be more suitable for domestic settings, so um, if you're interested in having one, if you've got a big room, then it's about the best piano you can get, in my opinion. Well, I could play all day long, and, uh, but I want to give some idea of the sound of it. I know on videos it's not really the same as live, and apologies for that. But um, hopefully that gives you an idea. And if you're interested in the piano, please do write to us, info at robertspianos.com. Thank you very much for listening.